Every single Q&A I've ever done, I always get this question. Hey Utsav, I'm joining university soon. Should I pick computer science or software engineering? Honestly, I never made this video because I thought the answer was too obvious. But as I dug into it, I found out that there's a lot of misleading information out there that is confusing people for no reason. So let's clear all the confusion out once and for all. Hi guys, my name is Utsav. I'm a software engineer based in Seattle, Washington. And this channel is all about helping you excel in your software engineering careers. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing. As usual, the reference materials from this video will be in the description below and I have timestamps, so feel free to jump to sections that interest you more. All right, let's get started. So our trusted friend Wikipedia says that computer science is the study of algorithmic processes, computational machines, and the computation itself. As a discipline, computer science spans a wide range of topics from theoretical studies of algorithms, computation, and information to practical issues of implementing computational algorithms in hardware and software. Whereas software engineering is a systematic application of engineering approaches to the development of software. Well, okay, that was a mouthful, but that makes sense. If I had to rephrase that and add my two cents to it, I'd say computer science helps you understand how computers work and software engineering lets you put that knowledge of computers into practical use in order to build software systems. Okay, great, we have a definition. Now let's look at them as college degrees. How does a computer science degree differ from software engineering degree? Ideally, both computer science and software engineering will cover the foundational computer science and mathematics knowledge. These are programming logic in one or more programming languages, data structures and algorithms, and basic probability statistics and discrete math. And since computer science is a theoretical study of computers and computations, a computer science degree will build on that foundational knowledge with advanced topics in the same areas. For example, advanced algorithms and analysis, concurrent programming, operating systems, linear algebra, advanced calculus, finite state machines, and also other advanced mathematics courses. A computer science degree is a great option for you if you love learning things at a very deep academic level. It is also a good choice if you plan on getting advanced degrees like master's or PhD in specialized areas like operating systems, distributed systems, data science, machine learning, so on and so forth. A software engineering degree will also cover the same foundational topics, but since software engineering is the application side of things, a software engineering degree will take the foundational knowledge and teach you how to build software systems that are used in the real world. For example, software development life cycle, software design that includes things like design patterns, principles and paradigms, software testing, scalability, distributed systems, and web technologies. A software engineering degree is a great option for you if you want to get a high level overview of engineering practices used in the real world. And also if you want to get in the industry right away. But notice that I said ideally when I started talking about these two degrees, because this is the by the book definition of what these degrees should be. But as with anything in the real world, it's not cut and dry because there isn't a universal standard that regulates what these degrees should be. And as a result, these degrees can vary quite a lot from university to university. And to that end, here is a few things that you need to watch out for. You need the fundamentals. Programming logic in at least one language, data structures and algorithm. If a CS degree or a software engineering degree does not have that, run the other way. Those aren't going to be good for your career as a software engineer or a developer. If you plan to do advanced degrees in specialized topics, you probably want to go with a CS degree that has courses that cover a lot of theoretical knowledge and mathematical concepts related to the areas that you want to specialize in. This sets you up for success when you pursue advanced degrees. But at the same time, if you don't want to pursue advanced degrees, you probably don't want too much theory in your undergraduate degree. Not all software engineering degrees are made the same. Some lean heavily towards electrical engineering and physics. If that's what you want, that is cool. But if you want to stick to software engineering, watch out for too many classes in these areas. And then there are those degrees that linger around within the computer science and the engineering department, but they are neither engineering or computer science. They have their own merits, but they may not give you enough foundational knowledge or enough knowledge in general to kickstart your career as a software engineer. These are degrees like information technology, information systems, data science, etc. They're fine as specializations, but I wouldn't recommend them as full degrees, at least not at an undergraduate level. Okay. 
Now that you know a few things to watch out for, let me give you some advice on how to go about picking your degree in general. See, the thing is that you need a bit of both, theory and practical knowledge. Here's a real world example. Say you're building a cloud powered spelling checker like Grammarly or something like that. A computer scientist would likely think about what is the best way to find if a word is even misspelled. And from there, what is the most optimal way to find the best match for a suggestion? Could this be modeled as a graph problem where we find the Levenstein distance between the two words to find the closest suggestion? This is very theoretical and mathematical, but it could help finding suggestions fast. But autocomplete is a part of a larger system like Grammarly or Microsoft Word. How would other parts connect to the system? Would the autocomplete be exposed as an API? Would it be cloud-based? If so, what are the latencies and throughput? Uh, should the dictionary remain in memory? How should we design the overall system? Um, what if we want to completely swap out the current version of autocomplete with the new one? How would that affect other modules? How can we make a system extensible but decoupled at the same time? You get the idea. So remember our initial definition? Computer science helps you understand how computers work or how computations are done. And in software engineering, you put that knowledge into practical use in order to build software systems. So hopefully this real world example changes your perspective from obsessing about this degree versus that degree and instead thinking about how you can get the best out of your four years in college with a good mix of theory and practice. And for that, here's my advice. First, do your due diligence. Look at the curriculum to make sure that at least the fundamental courses are covered. Second, does the degree give you choices to pivot on or is it too structured and strict? Is it too theoretical or too practical? Ideally, you want a good balance between theory and practice. Three, think of a degree as a flexible canvas. You should have the option to choose from a wide variety of electives to shape your degree however you want based on your own interest or the job market. Good programs give you this choice. The only thing that should be forced upon you are the fundamentals. Fourth, work closely with your advisor and let them know what your goals are to create a course plan that fits your need. And finally, reach out to recent graduates who you know that have recently gotten jobs. Ask them about what classes they took and what helped them in their jobs. Well, hopefully this gives you some idea on how to go about picking a degree. But more importantly, how to think about your degree not as a computer science versus software engineering debate, but as a four-year stretch of learning that you want to get the most out of. Learning is the most important part in this debate. If you have sorted that part out, arguably you don't even need a degree at all. People without degrees have gone on to build amazing software. Well, I think I'll start venturing out into philosophy if I continue any further, so I'll stop here. Let me know in the comments below what degree you have. Computer science, software engineering, some other degree, or no degree at all. And I'm also curious to know how you feel about your degree that you chose. Um, has it helped you or hindered your career or you feel indifferent about it? Let me know. Uh, and that's all for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, and share. And while you're here, please consider subscribing to this channel for more software engineering content. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>